thank you so much for doing this interview with me. Um, this is really something different and something really exciting, especially because in this country, too, uh, the game of soccer is something that's really up there. Fans really enjoy this. So i got to ask you how you came up with this idea for, for a series like this. Fantastic. Um, my two fellow co-creators, uh, Riley Adams and Adrian Wells and I, knew that we wanted to set uh, a show in the world of competitive sports one step from the pros. Uh, we knew that was a world full of drama and we thought it was something everyone could relate to because we all either wanted to be a professional athlete or a professional actor or singer or dancer when we were that age. <clears throat> and we put our minds to which sport we wanted to focus on and we thought that soccer offered two huge things. One, the fastest growing sport in the country. Uh, millions of two, you know, Canadians play soccer. More kids under 20 play soccer than any other sport. And probably more importantly, we loved um, that a soccer pitch anywhere in this country will re reflect the diversity of this country. And so it was a great lens through which to tell stories of, of, of Canadians. Well, putting this all together, though, this must have been um, pretty incredible. Where is it actually being filmed and how did you guys put this whole thing together? Uh, we filmed it uh, mostly in Montreal. Uh, at a fantastic facility that's uh, devoted to soccer, built by the city of Montreal. We filmed a lot there. We also filmed in a place that's disguised as the Ivory Coast, but it's really Dominican Republic. And uh, Emmanuel got to go there, and Kenneth got to go there, but Stephanie and I, had we had to stay home. <laughs> Well, look, my friend, I know you and I go back ways, and you did tell me about the show that was happening. Since then, though, what did you have to do to get yourself prepared? Because I don't think people realize soccer players are probably one of the most physical athletes out there. You don't see fat runner, you don't see fat soccer players out there. There's a reason why. Well, uh, I try to stay in shape. You know, it's something that I keep in my lifestyle every day. But uh, in terms of soccer, I myself played soccer growing up. Uh, I played. Uh, uh, throughout college and I played after college for fun and in men's leagues but in order to uh, prepare for this specific character I did some research I watched some of my favorite players like Drogba, uh, Sturridge, um, uh, Ronaldo you know those are people players I really like enjoy watching and there was a particular moment while I was in Montreal I still couldn't find who Junior was and I remember on the specific day myself and some of the other players were uh, teaming up together to just kick the ball around and stuff like that and I saw this young kid on the pitch with a trainer young black kid I'm look I'm watching I'm like watching his walk watching his demeanor watching how he kicks the ball and it hit me I'm like that's Junior <laughs> You know, that's Junior right there. He's probably 17, and he's training with the personal trainer, and he's, this trainer's making him do drills and stuff like that. And this guy's just zoned in the things that he's doing. So that was my preparation. Please tell me you tried the Pele kick. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to watch the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, with your character, though, like, how did you prepare for yours, and um, how does your character fit into this whole story? So Christy uh, is an Olympic medalist in soccer. She's sort of a, a hero in the soccer world, and she comes along and becomes the assistant coach of this under-21 men's team. And she's mostly brought on for PR reasons. <laughs> Little does she know. Um, but she is taking on this new role as a coach, um, first female coach in the MLS. And it's, uh, it's a huge thing for her because she's been at the top. She's been you know, used to winning and, and she feels on the top of her game. And then now she's sort of at the bottom and has to feel like, she feels like she has to prove herself uh, coming into this new world that she's definitely not familiar with um, and the whole coaching thing, which is new for her.